What's up guys, this is Sparkling Bubbles again here with a 7 days to die video, my first video about it and uh, everything you should know, here we go and like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to subscribe, I'm not going to force you so, yep, let's get into it so basically, to summarize this game, this is basically the whole video I'm just going to tell you everything you should know about this game so first, the graphics aren't beautiful. They're not like Ark Survival. They're not jaw-dropping graphics. Wasn't made for that. It's a survival horror game. It's like H1Z1 and DayZ. It's sort of like Minecraft because you can build. And that's what I like about these games. You can build. You can fix your house. You can survive. It's like The Walking Dead. You can survive and you have to be with your friends and you have to find food and water. And I like I love games like these because it's so in depth. There's more than you just killing zombies. You have to try to survive the like resources and, and the environment. You know, it's not just you going in shooting up zombies, and that's basically the whole game. Like you have to build, you have to get ready, and then on the seventh day, a whole horde of zombies come at you, come from everywhere at night and try to kill you. So you have to set up base and try to make sure that you do not die. Because if you die, you lose. I mean, you don't lose everything. Your stuff is going to be there. But you basically, you died. Like, you took the L, you know? And that's why I say this game is so dope. It, it really is. Even though graphics aren't that great. But the gameplay is dope. I don't care about graphics that much. You can have the best graphics in the world, but then have horrible gameplay. For example, The Order of 1886 was terrible. Those graphics were beautiful, but the gameplay was awful. So you can't you can't really go by graphics about everything. You know. So that's basically the whole thing. That's really it. I basically said everything I wanted to say. This, this is that's what the game's about. You survive through the nights, and every seven days it gets harder and harder and harder. So you gotta make sure you have that base set up with your friends, and it's four players. Sadly, I wanted it to be ten players, or at least fifteen or six or something. Four players is kind of low. Especially since I have you guys, if you guys want to play, and my friends. So, that's really it. Peace.